What's up, YouTube? This is part 11 of, like, my coming out in detail marathon. Um, so, you know, anybody who takes the time to watch all 10 previous parts, big ups to you, like, for real. You have, um, a lot of love or either that a whole lot of secure, uh, security, curiosity, um, about me. And, um, it's kind of awesome. Um, but anyway, so, I was dealing, you know, with raising my child alone and, um, working and going to school and, um, actually was in this, like, real depressed stage and I met this chick who... I went to school with and um, kind of just started skipping school together and I was a straight A student um, and I just started really like we was really like friends and stuff and um, I knew she was in like this bad place and I like really wanted to help her like her family was supportive of her lifestyle or who she was she stayed with a friend um, like, they had kicked her out, disowned her, um, like, her life was rough, rough, you know, I'm not trying to put her business all on blast or anything, but, and I just kind of, like, really related to, um, her don't give a fuck nature, you know what I mean, and, um, so we started hanging out, and we started getting, you know, cool and stuff, and we was kicking it for, like, I don't know, like, two months or something, um, and then I decided to tell this dude that was afraid of commitment, um, if you had watched part 10, you know what I'm talking about, but I had told him, like, I don't, he, she was, you know, I think she, no, she was there, she was on the phone, I think she was on the phone with me, and I was telling him, you know, that I'm gay or whatever, and like, like Rebel Lesbian said, um, I've seen his spirit just kind of just crushed, like just crushed, like he had lost his entire manhood, like, like that, like it was so easy. And um, he was like, what did I do? What did I do to make you gay? And he was crying, and as cold as it might seem, um, I started laughing, and I was like, <laughs> like, it was uncontrollable laughter, like, he honestly thinks that he had that much power over me to make me gay, and I'm like, I'm just laughing, I'm like, it's nothing, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like, I don't even mean to laugh at you, but... It's nothing that you did to make me gay. Just the just the fact that he would consider that he made me gay um, was humorous to me um, uh, for some odd reason. And um, so, you know, me and this chick, and I, you know, I kind of told her um, that I had liked her, and she told me that she was liking me, and. Um, so we, I was spending the night over at her and her friend's house, and her friend was like, he was um, like a punk rock dude, a straight punk rock dude, um, just kind of odd, just an oddball, and um, you know, we was hanging out and stuff, and um, we was into the party scene and all that too. Um, my daughter was not there during that time and um I don't know it just got we um she was like the first girl I ever made love to and there was that um uh, spark there and I just knew like I'm gay I am so gay and um I knew I had made the right choice, but not necessarily for her or to be with her, but just to find me, to be me. And um, 
that really was amazing. Um, she ended up having a lot of issues that I wasn't able to help her out with. And we only last for about a year and a half. And I actually had left my grandma's house. Um, and we had gotten our own place and all of that. Um, when I graduated, um, she didn't. And, um, you know, she wasn't ready to be like that parental figure. And um, that's what kind of ended our relationship, um, which I had gotten into on impulse. She had said, you know, she likes kids and stuff like that, but liking kids and being ready to be a parental figure wasn't the same thing. So this is my long, drawn out, um, coming out story. I ended up telling my, um, my best friend first, and she was completely blown away like completely and um actually my my relationship that ended with um my, that my first girl like it kind of crushed our friendship um real over real petty stuff and um you know we had fallen out for like two years a different friend and i didn't fall out with my friend that i was best friends with in eighth grade i know you guys have no idea how many like which best friend are you talking about um i have i'll have a lot of good friends and i'm very blessed in that category um that we've actually all you know came back together and you know they accept me for who i am and that's what's up um my grandmother she knew that she had known that i was gay and that blew me away um my mom was just like you know okay my dad, he's real. He was really like homophobic, and it took him some time to get used to the fact that it wasn't a phase. And I think the same goes for my grandfather. That it took him some time too. But my mom's mom, she was, she's fine. She's pretty chill, laid back, and accepting of whatever. Um, both my grandpa, my, both my grandmothers are really like that. But my grandfather and my dad were kind of the ones that were like huh at first and so they kind of reached a point where um they've been able to come to peace with women on women because um they think that it's hot or whatever it's more acceptable in our culture but they are completely against um gay gay men and i some of my best friends are gay men and gay trans um gay transitional women um which is um female or male to female and um and I've kind of gotten them I'm like you know I've gotten to a place where I'm like you know what you're talking about is very ignorant like and I'll tell them that I'm like but you're entitled to the way you see things and um I'm entitled to the way I see things so we just agree to disagree about them and I was like as long as you don't be rude to my people if they if I bring them around or whatever then I'm fine and I'm very outspoken with my family um I'm very respectful when I am outspoken but I stand my ground and I am where I am and I am that way because I am independent, um, and I have been very independent since um, 18. I've been out on my own for three years and taking care of myself um, pretty much all my life. So, you know, I'm self-parented, self-taught on a lot of things. Like, I taught myself how to ride my bike. I taught myself how to swim. I taught myself um, how to skate. Um, you know, just stuff like that. Um, so... For those of you who are coming out, just know that it's a long journey to finally get out of the closet. And still not everybody that I know um, knows, like my friend's mom, um, she's African and stuff, and she doesn't know at all. And I told my friend I was scared, and she was to tell her if they're coming to see me in a couple of weeks. And um, she was like, she can handle it. And just like, you know, my sister's mom, I don't know what her issue is with it, but we got issues to deal with it. I mean, you're always going to have closed-minded people. Just um, know that you don't have anything to prove to anyone except for yourself. So be strong in knowing who you are and know that not everybody is going to accept what you know about yourself as right. So um, just be you and 
thanks for watching this long marathon for those of you who have watched all 11 parts this is the last part um so thanks and uh, hopefully i'll be making more videos soon i don't know I'm starting my job and stuff tomorrow so peace and love y'all